Is there any way I could get a refund? Jerry Lachardi bought the locker's contents not knowing who owned it. I didn't know actually until I got into the, uh, to the office to actually pay for the locker. And that's when they told me that, you know, that, that unit belongs to Madonna Stalker. Hi and welcome to Top 10 List, where today we'll be looking at 10 storage units that people definitely regret buying. But before we begin, we're also hosting... Just open. The guy was a little bit of a freak. <laughs> so maybe that's an understatement. We have um, a vibrating velvet harness. This whole bag is Number 10. Adult Toys. A lot of people tend to have their own kind of, you know, sexual fantasies, their own way of getting off. And while some like to keep their interests more to themselves, others are kind of more unusually expressive. It happened around sometime in 2012 when a couple of storage unit hunters unexpectedly came across an unknown man's darker past. That's because they found a few family items, a few work-related items, and some nice works of art, but never once did they expect to find a hub full of cross-dressing related items. On top of finding unusually large adult toys for a variety of uses, they also came across a box filled with makeup, fake eyelashes, and condoms. But wait, there's more. Another box had a wig, fake breasts, and even several porn DVDs. Surprisingly, the people who bought the unit didn't find everything until they began their garage sale, and no, they didn't sell any of those items, just for the record. Anyways, a collection of guidebooks for cross-dressing were also found, and then there were even more wigs, suits, and pornography. All that treasure, just for $300. Number 9. Guns this next find came from Eagle Point, Oregon, where a couple purchased a charming looking unit for an assumed six or seven hundred dollars. What actually piqued their interest in the unit wasn't apparently being a pile of gun tote bags that looked to be decently full, so they assumed the best, which was a bad idea. Turns out that every single bag that they opened was full of empty water bottles. Guess the previous owner of the unit was just too lazy to recycle. No matter how you look at the story though, it would not have ended with an upside. According to law, in most states, any weapons of any type, like knives, swords, and even guns that are purchased in any kind of auction, have to be turned over to the police in order to verify ownership. Even then, you'd need to be a licensed carrier in order to own them. A decapitated doll and a cache of knives. Just a few of the bizarre personal belongings of Robert Dewey Hoskins. Number 8. Madonna's Stalker Every celebrity is going to have a stalker at one time or another, or at least diehard fans, but Madonna was on a whole different level. The stalker, known as Robert Dewey Hoskins, was convicted of threatening to murder Madonna in 2012, and that's when his storage unit would go into auction. And let me tell you, it was bizarre. So much so that the LA Weekly posted a list on their own calling out 10 of the creepiest things that were found inside. The long list of items included headless baby dolls, knives on top of knives, a home video of children playing, keeping in mind that the man actually had no children, a shirtless photo of himself and his tattoo of Madonna next to a photo of her, tons of Madonna memorabilia, psychotic rants, and a sad clown mask. So it's probably a good thing that he's locked away. Number 7. Animals When you've been in the storage unit buying business for a long time, you tend to be able to get around and see weird stuff and meet even more weird people. But at what point do you just break and are convinced that you've seen the most weird thing in your career? Longtime buyer Tammy Lockwood thinks she finally reached that point. One of the weirdest things to come across in a unit are living animals, which have unfortunately been left there to die. What's even more weird is how common it really is. But what's really bizarre is how big of a find that Tammy had this time. Altogether, there was a tank filled with fossilized fish, the dried out husks of two iguanas, and several dead snakes. Now on other occasions, Tammy's found a dead cat or fish tanks or even a live python and two tarantulas in the midst of cannibalizing each other. This is a very bizarre and off the wall case and I am serious about it. Number six, a human leg. Dead animals are one thing, but with all due respect, a severed human limb is 10 times worse. 
Sometime in 2007, an auctioneer named Shannon Wistnant purchased the unit because of a meat smoker which caught his attention. What was inside the meat smoker was not so edible. As it turns out, it was an amputated leg which belonged to a man named John Wood. He lost the lower half below the knee after a plane crash in 2004, but he simply couldn't let it go. So what John did was keep it in the storage unit until eventually he was going to be buried with it. John fell behind on payments, and now here we are. All over the world. Foot Purchase. man. I did That's your name now, the Foot Man. Yeah, I've had a lot of friends give me a lot of different nicknames over there. Bar you have the leg on a barbecue grill. <laughs> But wait, there's more. Mr. Wisnant put the leg on display with the meat smoker and charged locals money to come and see it. Once Mr. Wood heard about the news, however, that's when they went to court. Television court, to be exact. Apparently, the case was so ridiculous that they just had to bring it onto TV. John Wood did get his leg back in the end. Number 5. Action Comics Number 1 while this could be considered an extremely lucky find, the outcome, well, it just feels like a punch to the stomach. After a storage auction which took place in Southern California in 2011, a box of comic books was recovered, which included a mint condition level 10 copy of Action Comics No. 1. Clearly, the man who bought the storage unit knew what he had found, as it went on sale on ComicConnect.com soon after, being valued at over $2 million. But here's where things go south. As it turns out though, the comic that the man had found was actually stolen from actor Nicolas Cage sometime in the year 2000. He had purchased the comic in 97 for around 150 grand, and once the news got out, he was able to quickly get the comic book back. So what could have been the turnaround of a lifetime quickly became absolutely nothing, not a zilch zero. And I can only assume how devastated the buyer must have been. Number 4. Body Parts some people can be really passionate about their work, so it's no surprise that you'll see them take it home. However, Dr. Michael Berklin was a former medical examiner who'd apparently kept his work in a storage unit in Pensacola, Florida. Oh yeah, and when we say work, we really mean the body parts of over 100 patients. Berkland is also charged with four counts of theft for having four whole hearts and brains in his possession. The story quickly unfolded in 2012 when some poor sap would purchase the doctor's old storage locker for an unknown amount. Inside, there were 10 brains stored in jars filled with formaldehyde, as well as lungs, livers, hearts, and tissue samples, and limbs which were just simply kept in trash bags. The body parts turned out to be harvested from Dr. Berkland's previous job as an examiner at a morgue, and it also turns out he was fired in 2003 for failing to complete autopsy reports in a timely manner. Too many trips to the storage unit, I guess. Number 3. High expectations and no results. Any decent pickup at a storage auction is going to be based off of a hunch. You're only given so much time to check out the contents before the bidding begins, and you're not allowed to move anything around, so basically what you see is what you get. Around 2012, a man from Daytona would bid big on a unit because of a nice looking set of concert speakers. Naturally, you'd expect a set of musical instruments to come with concert speakers, wouldn't you? Well, our buyer isn't so different from anyone else, and of course expected there to be some sort of turnout from the unit, and as you may have guessed by now, no instruments were found. To make matters even worse, apparently the speakers were broken and needed a couple hundred dollars worth of repairs if he even wanted to at least break even on the buy. Number 2. A Locked Box Anything that has a lock on it is always going to pique someone's interest tenfold. It just has you wonder what sort of valuables the previous owner had locked away for safety. Well, one man felt the same way and purchased a storage unit for that very reason. Honestly, it didn't really have a whole lot going for it. So the buyer found the safe's key laying around the unit, opened it up, but didn't find any cash or jewelry or art, except he found uh, one single rubber mouse. You know, the kind that cats like to play with? Developing story out of Pendellas County where authorities removed the body of a Clearwater grandmother from a storage unit this afternoon. 
Number 1. Grandma Like every other instance of family in Clearwater, Florida, and what is it with bodies and body parts in Florida, eventually fell behind on payments and were informed that their storage unit would be auctioned off. Among several boxes and old broken televisions rested something that you don't exactly come across every day. A woman's skeletal remains. Eventually, the woman would be identified as Ann Bunch, who had lived from January 1, 1900 until sometime in 1995 when she passed away. Since then, she'd been stored away inside of a blue coffin in a storage unit which had no air conditioning. The family had Miss Bunch properly prepared for burial, which explains why there was no strong odor from the storage unit, and a ceremony, well, just never happened. And aside from a woman inside of a casket, the storage unit was relatively normal. And with that said, we conclude what are 10 storage units that people probably regret buying. Feel free to let us know in the comments what you thought about today's video. One fortunate person who leaves a comment and is also subscribed will have the chance to win a $100 Amazon gift card. So make it good. Also, leave a like and push that notification bell for more in the future. Thanks for watching and have yourselves an excellent day.